The cold weather over the next several days could also lead to frozen water lines outside the home and frozen pipes inside as well. 13 is on your side tonight with tips to prevent that from happening. Lakeshore reporter John Mills continues our big story coverage. Calling a plumber when there's an emergency can be costly. That's why it pays to prepare before extreme cold sets in. Every year, managers at Arlington Woods remind residents to get their homes ready for freezing temperatures. Homes like these have water pipes that lay above ground underneath the home, making them vulnerable to the elements. First tip, make sure the home skirting doesn't have cracks or holes. Pipes need to be protected from the wind. It's going to happen. Repairman Rod Morse is ready when pipes do freeze. He can thaw out pipes with this electric heat and gun. You'll start to feel the chunks of ice start breaking loose. And Morse says every mobile home should have a water box built over the water service line. That's where everybody's going to have their problems because they don't have that box. Wrap water lines with heat tape and pack the box with insulation. Insulation too. Lines left exposed are certainly going to cause trouble. This is what we're talking about, people. They're going to absolutely freeze up this winter. Water service lines in some older communities are notorious trouble spots. Muskegon Heights Utility Director John Allen is thankful so far it's been a mild winter. The frost line doesn't seem to be as deep as it typically is this time of year. The shallow frost line could quickly go deeper into the ground with prolonged cold temperatures. In 2018, the city of Muskegon Heights took preventative measures, used state grant dollars to remove lead connections and bury nearly 100 water service lines deeper in the ground. When it's really cold, let water trickle from your faucet. As long as the water is moving, it doesn't have a tendency to freeze. And plumbers also suggest opening up cabinet doors under sinks and to storage areas so that heat can reach uninsulated pipes. In Muskegon County, John Mills, 39 on your side.